Hi folks, James here from Sweet Pea Machine Embroidery. Thanks for tuning in to the latest KISS tutorial video. The beautiful project we are making for the month of May is the Patchwork Purse. The design comes in three sizes for the 5x7, 6x10 and the 7x12 hoops. The design features a single zipper closure along the top and is completely lined. The purse is made in a single hoop, except for the final opening that needs to be hand stitched. We recommend that you follow our photograph written instructions in conjunction with this video tutorial. This is a fantastic design and we hope you enjoy it. Make sure to join the May KISS Facebook group to receive 30% discount on this design. And as always, remember to enter the competition by posting photos of your completed patchwork purse. We can't wait to see all your amazing projects. If you enjoy this video tutorial on the patchwork purse, please like and subscribe. Hoop up a few layers of water soluble stabilizer. The woven variety works the best. Or a tear away stabilizer. Load the design onto your machine for the zipper purse. Use applique scissors for trimming the batting and fabric. Stitch the zipper placement line. Place the zipper right side up centered on the placement line with the pull hanging past the side of the hoop. The zipper will be too long, but this can be trimmed later when you trim the seam. Tape and place. Stitch the zipper to the stabilizer. Remove the tape. Stitch the placement line for the batting. Place batting one on top of the hoop covering the placement line. And stitch down. Remove the hoop from the machine and trim the batting about 1 to 2 millimeters from the stitching. Now we'll add lining for the bottom part of the zipper. Flip the hoop over so the wrong side of the hoop is facing up. Using the stitching on the left of the zipper, as seen as from the front of the hoop, as a placement line, place lining one on top of the wrong side of the hoop, wrong side up, with the quarter inch crossing the placement line, and the excess pointing towards the outside of the hoop. Tape and place. Flip the hoop back over to the right side up. You'll be able to see the excess lining one fabric extending past the right hand side of the hoop. Fold it up a couple times and clip or pin to the hooped up stabilizer. This will keep it out of the way while you continue on with the embroidery. Return the hoop to the machine and stitch down lining one. Refer to the diagram for steps 6 to 28. Stitch the placement line for the section 1. Place fabric A on top of the hoop covering the placement line and stitch down. Remove the hoop from the machine and trim the fabric A 1 to 2 millimeters from the stitching. Leave the excess fabric in the seam. Stitch the quilting on section 1. Repeat the same applique and quilting process with section 2 using fabric B. Repeat the same applique and quilting process for section 3 using fabric C.
Repeat the applique process for section 4 using fabric D. Trim. Leave the excess fabric in the seam. Stitch the quilting on section 4. Repeat the applique and quilting process for section 5 using fabric E. Repeat the same applique and quilting process for section 6 using fabric F. Embroider satin stitches 1 to 5 as per the diagram. Remove the hoop from the machine and flip the lining one over so it covers all the stitching on the back. Tape down. Turn the hoop over so the right side is facing up. Stitch lining one down. Remove tape. Embroider the decorative satin stitch along the bottom side of the zipper. Match your bobbin thread to your top thread. Now we will add the fabric G and lining 2 for the top part of the zipper. First, we will add lining 2 with the wrong side of the hoop facing up. Use the stitchy on the right side of the zipper as seen from the front of the hoop as a placement line. Place lining 2 on top of the wrong side of the hoop, wrong side up, with a quarter inch crossing the placement line, and the excess pointing towards the center of the hoop. Tape in place. Flip the hoop over so the right side of the hoop is facing up, and using the same placement line, place fabric G on top of the hoop wrong side up with a quarter inch crossing the placement line, and the excess pointing towards the center of the hoop. You can tape in place if you like, but we found it much easier just to hold the fabric in place with your hands. Stitch both fabrics down. Remove the hoop from the machine and flip lining 2 over. Tape in place. Flip over fabric G. Hold taut and stitch both fabrics down. Stitch the place and lines for the loops. Place your loops on top and centered on the placement lines, with the raw edges pointing towards the outside of the hoop. We placed them so that the D-rings were in line with the zipper. You want to make sure that the D-ring isn't too close to the seam stitching, otherwise when stitching around the purse, the machine foot will not hit the D-ring. Tape in place. Stitch down the loops. Please note that you may have to adjust your machine foot height. Remove tape. Now make sure you have your zipper a little more than halfway open. Make sure the zipper is open, otherwise you won't be able to turn everything through the zipper later. Place fabric H back of the bag wrong side up on the hoop and then place batting 2 on top of that. Stitch the seam. Remove the hoop from the machine and turn it over so the wrong side is up. Place lining 3 wrong side up on top of the wrong side of the hoop covering the whole project. Tape in place. Turn the hoop over so the right side is up and return to the machine. Stitch the seam with the triple stitch. 
This time it will stitch the lining 3 onto the back of the purse and it will leave an opening for turning. Remove your work from the hoop. Tear away excess stabilizer. Trim the batting out of the seams if you prefer. Trim your seam to a quarter inch and half inch at the opening and clip the corners and curves. Turn out through the opening in the seam using a pointy implement to help push out the corners. Hand stitch or glue your opening closed. If you use tearaway stabilizer, tear it away where the zipper is. If you use soluble stabilizer, soak the zipper purse in water to dissolve all the stabilizer and allow to dry. Trim any loose thread. You will then be able to get access to the open zipper. Turn the bag to the right side through the zipper. Use a pointy implement to help push out the corners. Very carefully iron the pouch. Tear away any other stabilizer that can be seen. You have now finished your zipper purse. Enjoy. Thanks for watching our tutorial on the patchwork purse. All the best with your entries into the May Kiss competition. For more beautiful machine embroidery designs, go to sweepea.com. That is S-W-P-E-A dot com. See you next month.